C.H. Spurgeon was converted at 15 and many people came to know the Lord Jesus through him. Here are some stories about him. Hello children. Welcome to another episode of Spurgeon Stories for Children by Tony Hatta. Today's title is Alphabet Verses and the Bible verse is John 1 verse 29. It says, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Spurgeon had one brother and six sisters. Can you imagine that? In fact, his parents had 17 children all together, but sadly, nine of them died while they were still babies. That often used to happen in those days. So today, we should be very thankful for doctors and hospitals and medicine. But can you imagine being in a family of eight children? What did they all do in the evenings? In those days, there were no radios or televisions or computers. So what did they do? Well, I can tell you of one thing that they did. Sometimes in the evening, they would all sit round the fire and try to repeat in turn, in alphabetical order, a verse of a hymn. Spurgeon himself was best at this, because he was the eldest of eight children and also because he had a very good memory. It was said that he could repeat a verse from a hymn going all the way through the alphabet. Can you find a verse beginning with the letter Q? Or how about Z? You might find some, but I couldn't find one beginning with the letter X. Maybe they were allowed to cheat just a little, because there are some hymn verses that begin with X, like, Exalt thy precious name, or Expecting I may someday come. At least they sound like the letter X, don't they? One of Spurgeon's sisters was always pleased when they got to the letter N. She knew that his favorite verse began with that letter and she would always ask that he should say it, even if it was not his turn. This was the verse he would quote. Now will I tell to sinners round what a dear saviour I have found. I'll point to thy redeeming blood and say, Behold, the way to God. Spurgeon would not only repeat the verse, he would also do something. He would always lift up his finger when he got to the word point. If you see any photos of Spurgeon taken later in life, you might see that he is shown with his finger pointing just as he used to do when he was a young lad sitting round the fire with his family. Maybe John the Baptist pointed with his finger to the Lord Jesus Christ when he said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1.29 Certainly, later in life, Spurgeon pointed people away from himself and away from other things to the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what all the Lord's people ought to do. Well now children, have you learned something today? I know I have. I've learned that we should memorize hymns together with our brothers and sisters because through them, we are able to be pointed to the Lord Jesus Christ and away from other things. Let's pray and ask God to help us to be pointed towards the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this day because we have learned the important lesson of hymns. Help us together with our brothers and sisters to memorize them and help that through them we would be pointed to the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray this in Christ's name. Amen.